Good morning, family and friends. Day two. Uh, June, uh, June 19th, June 18th. No, June 19th. Today is June 19th, and as you can see, the sun is coming up. It's uh, five, uh, it's 10 minutes after five. And I wanted to get this beautiful sunrise. This this shelter uh, is facing directly east, so you get some great sunrises in the morning. And the mountains are looking a bit hazy. It's gonna be another hot and humid day, unfortunately. But um, yeah, just getting up, getting started. I close up my camp and we'll be on the way probably about an hour, hour, hour and a half. I'm taking my time. I only got nine miles, but it's going to be hard nine miles again. Make sure I get enough water. So, uh, yeah, sun's up. Time to get moving. Uh, one more look at this beautiful view. It's very late, 7.15. I'm just getting going. And I'm already dripping wet. It's going to be another hard day. Look at all that haze out there. And I'm sick of these bugs, man, I tell you. All right, catch you down the trail. First views of the day, that's Bolton Mountain where I came over yesterday. Camped seven-tenths of a mile down from it. And we're up on top of, I don't know what it is, but you can see the haze in the background. And I come across this. I don't know what the heck this is. But. Yep. Hazy, hot, humid. Reminds me of when we did the. When we were in Maine, it was kind of like this. I mean, there was a lot more water available. Here is very, very sketchy. So it's a quarter to ten. I've been going for. Two and a half hours. I only got maybe three miles, but uh, we're in a bog area here, and it's been a very steep down. Well, not yeah, it's steep. A lot of uh, hand climbing, rocks coming down. It is extremely humid, um, and it's hot right where I'm standing. But I wanted to get this uh, this area here. This is kind of a neat view, and a butterfly flying around me. Uh, you can see it. There it goes. <laughs> anyway, that was Mr. Frog's right over there. But yeah, it is. I don't think I've ever hiked in more humid conditions. Total opposite from the last time we were here. I mean, it was rainy. Uh, but um, yeah, it's it's humid. But I wanted to give you this view. Yeah, one more thing. The streams are dried. It's very hard finding water. I haven't found I haven't found any stream. I've crossed a lot of potential streams, but they're all dried up. Uh, I have a half mile to the next uh, shelter where there's supposed to be a half, quarter of a mile down a, a side trail. It's supposed to be a spring pipe, PVC pipe. So hopefully, because I've gone through almost two liters of water already, I've only been going for about two and two hours, two and a half hours. Puffer shelter 3.4. That's how long we've come, how far we've come. Lake Mansfield Trail Tail Lodge Point One. And it's supposed to be a spring, so I'm heading for it. Met, we've, I've met my morning objective, and it is quarter to three. Quarter to three. Ha! <laughs> quarter after uh, ten. I mean, out for three hours. She is three a uh, mile an hour. Wow. Well, I'm not surprising. Right, let's get some water. Here we are in Taylor Lodge. You can see what it says. This is a big It's pretty big. It's a lot of people. So there's water right behind us. I'm going to get it. I hope there's water anyway. Oh, there it is. Nice spring, nice, cool, very cool, and very clear water. Thank God. 
I brought my couple of my bottles down here. Oh, here comes a trail runner. I don't get these guys. So, anyway. Yep, we have we have water. And a trail, a trail runner just just um, passed me by. And actually, on the way down here, it's 0.2 miles from the lot from the shelter. I just showed you. Uh, I actually came across two day hikers. So I've seen three people in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> And that's the most I've seen since I left. There's a nice stream you can hear behind me. You can't really see it through the trees. But, yep, there's flowing water. Nothing better to hear on a hot, humid day and when it's been dry elsewhere that you hear that and see this. It is truly a blessing. So I've made an executive decision at noontime here. I'm going to hang out here for a little while. I'm not going over Mansfield today because it's going to be a huge, well, it's Vermont's largest mountain, and it's going to be a hard climb in the afternoon, especially with this humidity. So I'm going to hang out here for a little while at this lodge, and I'm going to look for a place that I can put my hammock up and just uh, stretch out for a couple hours. Maybe get a little bit of rest. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Now, this is something that I never, ever did on the AT. Get in out of the heat and take a nap. I really wish a lot of times I did. So today, I'm taking advantage of it. Hell, I'm on vacation. No, I'm retired, but... <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. It's a lot cooler than being in the shelter. Uh, I'll start... So 3.2 miles to the next shelter... It's a 1,650 foot elevation change. So I'm going to hang out here. Hopefully some of the humidity will be gone. And I'll go to the uh, next shelter. There's a tent site that I'll pass. But we'll go to the shelter. And hopefully I can find a place to hang. Because they said there's no tent sites there. So that's it. We're going to hang out here for a bit. Well, I had a little rest. It's 2 o'clock. Been here since, I don't know. 11 o'clock, I guess, three hours. So we're going to head out. It's 2 o'clock. Only going to go 3.2 miles to the next shelter. That'll take me probably three hours. Because my um, definitely a one mile an hour pace. So we are going to Butler Lodge. That was right before Mount Mansfield. We'll do Mount Mansfield tomorrow morning when I'm fresh. That's about it. Point one to the trail. And we we'll continue with our Nobo adventure. Tell a lodge, that's where we came from, dot four. And uh, yeah, there's a nice stream here. I passed a couple of streams that were good enough for getting water out of. I don't know, I guess Bolton Mountain was was the only one. I hope this is a hope this is what I'm coming gonna come to get used to. More water. Because this has been really killing me. Carrying all this water and making sure I'm hydrated. I could have filmed more in the afternoon, I mean in the morning, but I was just, I don't know, I was just too, uh, it was just an effort to take out, um, here's, a, here's a trail in the water. It just seemed like an effort to take out my camera to film. That's how, uh, that's how rugged the trail was. But we had to go up about 1,200 foot elevation just the trail. 1,200 foot elevation to Butler Lodge. I guess this is a trail. Finally some water. I've been following this brook a little bit. It's quarter to four. I've gone two miles. I've gone in two hours. I've gone two miles. So I, like I said, I'm at a one mile pace. 
more of this humidity than anything else. I mean, it's been kind of flat, fa fairly flat, as flat as you can be in Vermont, uh, up to here. I'm 1.3 miles away, or 1.2 miles away from the shelter I'm staying at tonight. Oh, this is Twin Brooks tenting area right behind me, the trail to it. And Long Trail North, Bartlett Lodge, 1.3, that's where we're going. It's uh, 5 of 4. Let's see what time we get there. I was estimating 5. I think I'm going to be right on the, right on the money. We're going to start climbing now. Made it. Oh. Big push. Tomorrow, the forehead would begin Mansfield Mountain. We're, on t we're, we're in the Mansfield Mountain area. Now we go to the lodge. It's uh, 7 o'clock. We are at Butler Lodge. <laughs> Seen backwards. But, <clears throat> yeah, so, um, right, let me get in a better spot. The sun's in my eyes. Looks like no matter where I go, the sun's going to be in my eyes, so you guys can see me at least. <sighs> I'm embarrassed to say I only did 6.6 .6 miles today. I feel like I'm back in New Hampshire. That's how rugged the trail is. This humidity is killing me. And it's supposed to rain. I'm supposed to go over Madonna tomorrow morning. That's not going to be a problem. Aside from technical climbing. But um, I'm supposed to do... I'm supposed to be... i got to do 20 miles to get into Johnson by Friday. Today's Wednesday. So it means I have to do 10 miles the next two days. Well, 10 miles not bad. But uh, 10 miles... The first 10 miles going to be tough. So tomorrow I'm, I'm going to try for 12.4 and I have to go over Mansfield, into, down and into down, in and up through Smuggler's Notch. That means Madonna Peak is the uh, the out. I have to go over Madonna Peak, and then I get to Whiteface Shelter, which is 12.4. It's going to be tough. So I don't know what I'm going to do. There's some options that I'm checking out, but this is uh, I knew it would be hard. But um, this humidity, I, I wasn't counting on the humidity and, and the lack of water. That's another thing, too, is a problem, lack of water. First time we did, last time we did this two years ago, there was water everywhere because we we got into many storms. But tomorrow is supposed to rain, I understand, right when I'm getting to Smuggler's Notch, rain and hail. So that doesn't uh, do me well. So anyway, that's it. Grand 6.6 .6 today. Took a nap. I never did that before on the AT, so that was good. And uh, 6.6, .6, and uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see you on the trail tomorrow. Good night.